The U.S. men's goalball team is headed to Rio for the Paralympics. Over the last year, the team's been training for the big event at Turnstone in Fort Wayne. That's where they had a big send-off tonight. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson was there and joins us with more. Angelica. Heather, the sport is for people who are visually impaired. The athletes toss a ball that has a bell in it toward their competitor's goal. Now, this is the first time since 2008 that the team is heading to the Paralympic Games. They didn't qualify in 2012. Now they're ready to bring home the gold. After months of training for the Paralympic Games, members of Team USA are on their way. A crowd of spectators all counting on the six-man team to bring home the gold. But getting here was no easy task. It's definitely taking a lot of hard work, um, specifically sacrifice. Daryl Walker and the rest of the team came from cities all over the country to train for the games in Fort Wayne's Turnstone facility. He left his home in Jacksonville, Florida, and has been training with the team since last October. To be here in Turnstone right now has been a dream come true. Walker, who has been a part of Team USA since 2003, never imagined he'd have this opportunity. Growing up, he loved sports, but says his visual impairment held him back. You know, I was one of those kids that just loved basketball. You know, I wanted to be, you know, like Mike, as they say. But that impairment has nothing to do with the game of goalball. We all have varying different degrees of blindness and stuff. But whenever I put that blindfold on, it takes that away completely. So now all the different things that have me at a disadvantage of playing sports is now at an advantage by playing goalball. Coach Matthew Boyle says training full time at Turnstone gave them an advantage that they didn't have before. We definitely expect to do really well in Rio having the opportunity to, to play every day now. The plan is to definitely go out there and be successful win gold, but if we come off short, the, the, the best thing that I love about this team now is that we've all put in the time, we've all put in the effort, we've all put in the sacrifices, and we've grown to be a brotherhood. The athletes are headed to Rio tomorrow for the games. They'll compete September 7th through the 18th. Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.